Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Rizal Joy Trisinabra and I hope you have a good day. So, now we're talking about the geometric sequence and remainder theorem. So, what is geometric sequence? Hmm. Geometric sequence, an order list numbers in which each term after the found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed non-zero number called the common ratio, also known as geometric progression. Geometric sequence. A geometric sequence has a common ratio. The formula of nine term is a sub n is equal to a times r raised to n minus one. So a sub n is nine term of the sequence a is the first term of the sequence, and R is the common ratio. Common ratio, a constant number in a sequence obtained by R. So, para makuha yung ratio, ito ang ginagamit natin na formula. R is equal to A sub N over A sub N minus 1, or the second term divided by with the first term. So, para mas lalo nating maintindihan, Ito ang example. Find the common ratio of the geometric sequence of 1, 5, 25, 125, and 625. So, the ratio is 5. So, paano ko nga ba nakuha yung 5? So, watch this video to know how I get the answer 5. Common ratio. So, ang binigay na given is... 1, 5, 25, 125, 625. So, ang gagamitin natin na formula is yung second term divided by first term. So, ang second term natin is 5 at ang first term natin is 1. So, 5 over 1. I-divide mo lang yan siya so makukuha mo na yung 5. So, ang ratio natin is 5. Yung iba is fraction. So, ganyan lang po yung Pagkukuha po tayo ng ratio. Geometric sequence. So, the formula of it is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. So, how to determine the 9 term? So, we use this formula. So, para mas natin na maintindihan is ito ang example. Calculate the 20th term of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and the rest. So, ang hahanapin natin is ang 20th term. So, ang nakuha kong sagot is 1,048,576. Para malaman niyo kung paano ko nakuha yung sagot, watch this video. Ito naman po ang example ng geometric sequence. So, ang binigay na given is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and the rest. At ang hahanapin po natin ay ang 20th term. So, ang A sub 1 natin is 2. Ito po. Ang ratio natin is, so, divide lang natin yan, 4 over 2. Kasi ang 4 po natin is ang second term. Tapos, ang first term natin is 2. So, equal po yan is 2. So, ang ratio po natin is Two. So, 9 terms. So, ang hinanap po natin is 20. So, A tapos 20. So, ito po ang gagamitin nating formula. Ang A, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N minus 1. So, ang A sub N po natin is A 20. Ang A sub 1 natin is 2. Ang ratio po natin is 2. Ang N natin is 20 minus 1. So, 2. At ang 2 tapos 20 minus 1 is equal to 19. So, 2. So, ang 2... 8 times natin siya itself by 19. 
So, ang total po niyan is 524,288. So, ito times po natin yan is makuha po natin na sagot is 1,048,576. Ayan po yung 20th term niya. So, yan po yung sagot. So, tapos na tayo sa geometric sequence. And next, we're talking about the remainder theorem. So, what is remainder theorem? So, ano nga ba yun? Hmm. So, ito. If a polynomial fx is divided by x minus a, then the remainder is fa. Hmm? The remainder states that when a polynomial fx is divided by a linear polynomial x minus a, the remainder of the division will be equivalent to fa. In the other words, if you want to evaluate the function fx for a given number, you can divide that function by x minus a and your remainder will equal to fa. So, so sa mga nakoconfuse, parang mahirap, parang hindi masyadong naintindihan ko ang ibig sabihin. So, magbibigay tayo ng example para mas lalo nating maintindihan. So, ang example natin is, find the remainder when px is 4x squared plus 12x minus 4 is divided by 4x minus 20. So, ang nakuha kong sagot is P5 is equal to 156. So, kung nagtatanong kayo kung paano ko nakuha yung 156, watch this video para mas lalo nyo maintindihan. So, ito po ang example ng remainder theorem. So, ang binigay po na given is Px is equal to 4x squared plus 12x minus 4 at ang binigay po na divisor is 4x minus 20. So, ang una po natin gagawin is yung hahanapin po muna natin si x. So, ito po. 4x minus 20 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to, ito transpose po natin si, si negative 20, 20 so magiging positive po siya. At ikakansi over 4 po natin, tapos cancel. X is equal to 5. So, ang X po natin is 5. So, lahat po ng X dito is papalitan po natin ng 5. 5 is equal to 4 5 plus 12 5 minus 4 at solve na po natin. So, 4, 4, 5, um, ito times po natin siya sa sarili niya is magiging 25. Plus, 12 times 5 is equal to 60 minus 4. 25 times 4 is equal to 100 plus 60 minus 4. So, ang magiging sagot po natin is 156. So, P5 is equal to 56. Ayan po ang sagot. Pero, pag gusto niyo pong ma-sure ma kung tama po ba yung sagot niyo, pwede niyo pong gamitin ang synthetic division. So, yung X po natin is 5. At ang given po is 4, 12, at negative 4. Ito po yan. 4, 12, at saka negative 4. So, ibaba lang po natin si 4. 4, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 12 plus 20 is equal to 32. 5 times 32 is is equal to 160 at negative 
4 plus 160 is equal to 156. So, yan po. Tama po yung nakuha po nating sagot. Yan lang po. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Pwede nyo gamitin yung synthetic division para ma-sure kung tama ba yung nakuha yung sagot. At ayan po ang example ng remainder theorem. At yun po ang example ng remainder theorem. At yung tungkol po sa geometric sequence, sana po ay may natutunan kayo at kung paano ito gamitin at paano gamitin yung formula. Yun lang po and thank you for watching.